Thus far, we've talked about two different ways that you've persuaded alumni to give back uh, in their time in committing to service and also in their treasure in donating to Yale. I wonder, is there a difference in the way that you ask for those two different kinds of philanthropy? Do you change the way that you approach the issue, change the way that you send out contact information? Does it vary at all? It, it does, and I have to say, I think I'm really bad at fundraising. <laughs> it's not <laughs> something I like to do. I signed up to be a class agent because I'm, I'm married to a classmate, and someone came to me and said, okay, we've got about 12 couples who are married to each other in our class. Would you be the people who go out and ask them for money? So I'm actually asking people in a similarly situated, and some of whom I know. Um, I'm very perfunctory about it. I don't do a good job. So, I, But I, when I do engage in the conversation, I have the conversation I talked about before. Um, I, some people are much better at that, and I am passionate about the cause. And actually, as I've been more involved with Yale, it's much easier for me to ask for money because I can talk about the things I just talked about. I can talk about the reasons why I think it's important um, that, that have impact. Um, but it's, it's much different. It's so easy to ask someone. You know, the, the person who asked me just called me up and said, you know, you've been in, I lived in Dallas at the time, you've been in Dallas for a year, we've got this Yale Club, we need somebody to do the vice president of programming, will you do it? Um, you know, and it's, it's saying, oh, that, first of all, that makes you feel good, right? Will you do this job? I'll give you a title, you know? <laughs> um, it's easy to ask people, I think, to do something, um, uh, something with time and talent, especially because you can also frame it and say, all I need is your, you know, this many hours on this one project. Or I need you to commit to get on a path to do what I've done and spend 14 years, you know, engaged in a, in a real way. Um, uh, but I think, and you have the commonality of Yale, of course, with, with the latter, even more easily than, than for money. It's easy to say, hey, you know, we already have this connection. That's why I'm talking to you in the first place. Um, people, tend to, people tend to want to be involved if they can see what it's going to look like. You know? So I, I think it's very different. So actually, uh, related to commonality, uh, I read the article that you published in the Yale Alumni Magazine, oh, okay, uh, yeah. The Call for Service, right. and one of the things that you suggested was that uh, individual or alumni should donate to groups that they were associated with while they were on campus, either the political union or Yale women, groups that they identify with. Uh, what role do you think that identity plays in asking alums to give back, either in time or in treasure? Well, I, th I think that's what we've discovered is very important. Because it used to be that at the AYA, we had classes and clubs, regional clubs, and then graduate professional school affiliation. And frankly, we were much more focused on the classes and clubs. It was a much more college, Yale college-oriented organization. And there were people who loved that. I was very involved with my class, and I love my classmates, and I come back to reunions, and that's great. Um, I got involved in a regional club because somebody asked me to. But we were leaving out a lot of people. We were leaving out people who didn't feel as though that they fit in because of their um, actual identity, their, you know, their racial identity or their religious identity or something that was um, more definable about them that you could maybe see or understand when you interacted with them. Um, and people who wanted to connect because they were in a singing group or they were with the political union. I think um, part of what we're doing is instead of imposing a way to connect on people, is saying, how do you want to connect? How do you want to be involved? What, was, what were you passionate about? passionate about when you were here at Yale, we can find, a, you know, would you be interested in helping us find a way for you to connect back through that passion? Um, and it's, it's been very successful. We have this sh what we call the shared interest groups, which reflect both the sort of interest and identity that people have. Um, and there's, there's over a hundred of them. It's, it, it's really, it, it's almost more than we can handle because people responded so to that. So I think that that makes the difference.